Hi, my name is Agent Schroeder, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive in your computer. You might want to do this for a number of reasons. Maybe your old hard drive isn't working well, or possibly even at all. Or maybe you just want to upgrade to a newer, faster drive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace a hard drive, but before doing that, you want to make sure your data is securely backed up so it can be transferred to the new hard drive. I'll show you how to do that process manually. However, there are some great software options out there that will create an exact replica of your current drive, so you don't need to do the process manually. I personally prefer the manual method because it's a great time to clear out old files, programs, and data that might just be slowing down the machine. It also forces a fresh install of the latest drivers and the operating system, so your machine is completely up to date. On the other hand, since you're not cloning the drive, make sure you back up everything needed since the system won't do it for you. All right, let me walk you through what I'll be using today. Some of the items might not make sense right away, but I promise they will later. Here's what I have. A Lenovo desktop PC with the Windows 10 operating system, the hard drive I'm going to be installing, a smartphone with internet access and that has the ability to take pictures. That feature will come in handy throughout the process. An anti-static wristband and mat, a set of screwdrivers, a 512 gigabyte USB external hard drive and a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive. Again, that's what I'm using today. The steps might be a little different depending on what you have. If at any point you need some help or would rather have an agent like me do this for you, there's a link in the notes below where you can schedule an appointment. All right, let's get started. Before you buy a replacement drive, make sure it's compatible with your machine. You can use the model number to figure this out. Here's how you find that. If your hard drive is still working, boot up the system, type system information into the start menu, open it. You'll see the system model listed. Write it down. If your hard drive isn't working, you can typically find the model number on the case of your computer. Then, go to the manufacturer's website and find the support section. This is where you'll find specifics on your machine including hardware specs and internal components. Keep this page handy. The easiest way is by saving the URL on your phone or another device so you can still view the content even when the computer's disconnected. Make sure you get the same type of drive to replace your current one or one that's compatible. I'm replacing my drive to have one with more storage I need to install some pretty beefy programs that are going to require a lot more storage. You can see here that my machine has one internal drive. That's the one I'll be replacing today. It contains my operating system files along with my personal items like photos, videos, and documents. Since we'll be completely removing and replacing this drive, I want to make sure all my personal files are safely backed up before I go any further. This can be done a few different ways. You can back them up online using a cloud storage service like OneDrive, Google Drive, or iCloud, just to name a few. If you have one with plenty of storage and plenty of upload bandwidth on your network, that's a good option. Or you can connect a physical drive like a USB flash drive or an external hard drive to transfer the data for safekeeping. That's what I'm going to do. Now, if you need an exact clone of your current drive, there are some great software options out there that do just that. So, if you need all the files intact just as they are today, that might be the best solution. I don't need that today, so I'm going to stick to manually backing up my data. All of my content fits on this 512 gigabyte external drive, but if you have more content, you can always get a larger one to hold yours. Simply turn on the computer, then drag any critical files to the external drive like this. If you need a hand, the Geek Squad is here to help. There's a link in the notes below that you can use to set up an appointment. Next, make a list of the programs on your computer that you'll want to reinstall after you replace the drive. If any of the programs were purchased and require a serial number or software key, open them up and make sure you jot down or take a photo of that number. Then, log out of the software if necessary. All right, now that we've backed up personal files and made a list of programs, we also need to back up those system files that I mentioned, because we'll be reinstalling those on the new drive. Let me walk you through that process. First, we'll be creating a recovery drive that can later be used to install the operating system on the new hard drive. Now, insert the 16 gigabyte flash drive. This will become my recovery drive. Select the Create Recovery Drive option. Then, follow the steps to complete the process. If this doesn't work or you're unable to complete this process, say, for example, if your drive won't boot up at all, you can always contact the manufacturer by visiting their website and have recovery media shipped to you. All right, now that the data is safely backed up, it's time to replace the drive. 
start by turning off your computer. Make sure all the keyboard and power lights are off and no fans are running. Then, unplug the power cord and, as a safety measure, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds just to drain any lingering power. In fact, we always recommend waiting a full five minutes before moving on to the next step. And this is important because you'll be working inside the computer, so you want to make sure all the power is completely drained. Waiting five minutes after the computer is unplugged is a great way to do that. Before you unplug the other peripherals, like the keyboard, mouse, printer, speakers, and monitor, snap a few pictures so you can reconnect them later. Now, place the anti-static mat on a flat surface in an area that's free from clutter and carpet. Static electricity can damage the internal components of your computer. Using a mat like this will help limit the risk of damaging your hardware. Depending on how your machine is designed, you'll want to position it so the case side is easy to remove. Now, using the correct screwdriver size so you don't strip the screws, remove the cover. Wrap the anti-static wristband around your wrist and connect the alligator clip to something metal on the computer. Or, even better, if your mat has a place to connect the clip, use that instead. These straps are used to absorb the voltage difference in your body and the computer. It's similar to when you touch a regular item like a doorknob and get a shock. The problem is that the shock can be really damaging to the internal components of a computer, so using this mat and wearing the anti-static wristband are great ways to help avoid that. Now, go ahead and locate the internal drive. Here's mine. Every manufacturer is different. If you're having a hard time locating yours, refer to the documentation on the manufacturer's site that you saved to your phone earlier. Also, take note of the position along with any connected cables. You'll have to recreate this exact placement with the new drive. Again, it might be helpful to snap a couple photos just in case. Go ahead and disconnect any ribbons, cables, or other connections. Then, remove any screws holding the drive in place. Pull the drive out, set it on the anti-static mat. Insert the new drive and secure it using the screws that were attached to the old one. Then, reconnect all the cables. Go ahead and put the cover back on, making sure it's flush and secure with all the screws. Then, reconnect the power cord, keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Nice work! You just successfully replaced a hard drive. Now, it's time to restore your operating system and personal content. Start by turning it on. During this process, you'll be asked about reinstalling the operating system. Insert the 16GB flash drive. Select the appropriate option. Since I created a Windows recovery drive, I'll select that option. Again, follow the prompts to install the operating system on your new drive. This takes time, sometimes even hours, depending on your computer and the operating system. When the drive is ready, install any updates. You do this directly through Windows and through the manufacturer's website. Now, it's time to install any programs and then log in to make sure they're working properly. And there you go. Your new hard drive should be installed and running smoothly. Again, if you'd rather have an agent like me take care of this for you, there is a link in the notes below where you can schedule an appointment. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. Or if you have questions, let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.